This is the HLT 610 headlight tester aimer from Nussbaum, and we're going to go with some quick instructions on the unit. First off, roll the unit to the front of the car. Secondly, you want from the lens to the furthest point of the headlight, no more than 60 centimeters or 24 inches from each other. The next thing you want to do is check parallelism with the car. That's done via a line right here, as you can see on the top mirror. So what you want to do is look into this mirror and align it on the car with two points, preferably points that are on a shock absorber and not just on a bolt on a piece of plastic which could have been misaligned due to a wreck. So once you set that up, you come in, you can adjust the mirror, and then you just look where the line goes across, and as long as the line touches both spots, you know you're parallel with both. At that point, you're ready to start checking your light. You're going to run over, and what we're going to do now is center it up, down, left, and right. So to center it left and right, what we're going to do is we're going to look here, as you notice, as we move over to here, the reflection starts to come out here. As we move it to here, the reflection starts to come out here. So between here and there, right there, we want to go right there is going to be our middle. And at that point, we're going to go up and down. We do it the same way. As you can see, the reflection starts to come out down here, up, down, up, right there, so right there is going to be our center. I moved it a little bit, so I'm going to recheck this. Right there is going to be my center. So that being said, every manufacturer puts an indication, whether it be on a plate, on the engine hood, down on the radiator shroud, but there is a number here, which right on this, on this particular one, as you can see, the headlight, it says 1.0%. That's going to equate to this right here. We've got a dial. So basically it's negative 1%. This is all negative. The easy way to figure this, it's centimeters per 10 meters. If you just drop the zero on the outside, if you notice this is 10, this is 20, just drop the zero. So negative one, you're going to rotate this to one and that's going to be calibrated horizontally for you. At that point, we need to look at our manual, which will show you when we're doing our low beams, when we're doing our high beam, when we're doing fog lights. Bottom line is when we look in, what we want to make sure is this is all dark, this is the area that can be light. So for anyone that drives on the right-hand side of the road, what you want is this area to be right. That way you're not blinding cars coming at you. For high beams, it can be all of this area. For fog lights, you want everything below this so the lights are not shining up. So as we look into the lens, we can see that this is fine. If you notice the, the line running up on the right hand side, if you would extend the light that's shining up there, this one's set up just fine. You will notice that the high beam is right where it's supposed to be, and the high beam's in a different location, so it's right around, right around the middle. Of course, this car has no fog light, so we don't have to worry about that. Through the mirror, on the front side of the machine, it can be tilted at either way, so you can see the light through the mirror on the array in the HLT 610. The mirror can be positioned in any way so you can see the headlight no matter what position you're in. So now you have to get the intensity of the light that is done through the meter on the HLT 610. So you turn your lights on, first your dim lights, and you'll notice there is a gauge, the innermost gauge does your low beam. So you push the button, if you notice 
the gauge comes up in the green, which means it's good. If it were in the red, it would mean the light would be too dim. So then your high beams are checked on the outside most gauge. Notice how the gauge comes up and it's on the green. Once again, if it was in the red, it would be too dim. So very easy to use to check the intensity of your headlights. So when I'm done with one light, what I'm going to do is move to the other side. My height should remain the same. I'm going to recenter it on the light by looking at my reflections. Right there is going to be my center. I'm going to check for parallelism again by using the line in my mirror. I can line it up on the shock tower right there. And right there, I'm still parallel. If I wasn't, I would want to move this. So then I can look at my array through the mirror right here, and I can see that I am still just fine with where I need to be on this side. Keep in mind the HLT610 can be used for every light. It can be used for your low beams, your high beams, and your fog lights. You just have to pay attention to the map, whether you're on a low beam, whether you're on the high beam, or whether you're on a fog light. The main thing is adjust the the unit to the center of the beam, and then look at your array on the inside to make sure that your light is shining in the right place. The HLT610 headlight aimer tester in this configuration is for rail mount. It also comes in wheels as a standard mount. For initial setup, you will take a plate on this side because what you would like to do, you'll notice there is a mirror and align with it right here. As you look at that mirror, you're going to look right down here and notice a line on the front of the machine. The plate has screws and fixing screws. So what you want to do is line up and align the line on the mirror with the line on the machine via the screws on the fixing plate. And thus concludes the use of the HLT 610 headlight aimer tester.